Monsieur le député, Armugumiawanga, Petero Nkurunziza. It's an announcement that has for months kept Burundi on edge. Even though Pierre Nkurunziza had kept the country guessing on whether or not he will be running in the June elections, most Burundians expected it. And the message from his CNDD FDD party was loud and clear. There are some people who thought they'd weaken us, but now, as you can see, they have only made us stronger. Tension is rising, with the opposition threatening mass protests on Sunday. But police have moved swiftly to ban all protests. The opposition says Ankurunzin's third term violates the constitution and the Arusha Accord credited with stabilizing Burundi. But the president's supporters think otherwise. They argue that his first term in 2005 was elected by MPs, not the people. They want the people to elect him now. Well, Kurunzinza supporters came here for nothing less than his candidature. They describe him as a revolutionary, a man who has transformed Burundi in more ways than one. They also accuse the opposition of fueling tensions for fear of losing out in the elections. If they don't want to elect him, let them leave us to do so. We just don't want a coup d'etat. People love him because he has done a lot and he loves peace. Plus, we only elected him once. Both the United Nations and the African Union are against his third term in office, and nearly 15,000 people have fled Burundi for neighboring Rwanda, fearing the outbreak of violence. But for this man and his supporters, it's all about winning the June election. Jim Kill, CCTV.